What's going on everybody? Happy Sunday. I just wanted to come over here and uh, do a quick video. Or maybe, we'll see how quick it is. Maybe 10-15 minutes, we'll see. I'm just going to start with the Forex markets. So the dollar... And I'm going to stay... Most of, the, most of the Forex I talk about, I may stay on daily charts. Just because if you get lower than that, I mean the 4 hour I may use for entries. But using the daily or weekly, in my opinion, I mean to each their own, is less noise, so it enables me to follow many more markets. Sometimes I get caught up in the four hour game. So, as you can see, I just have the daily chart up here. I'll see if I'll change that in the future, but right now I'm going to leave it like that. So, you know, the dollar had it, whatever, it's Friday pulled back, but now it looks like it's, you know, obviously it's, it didn't gap down. Um,. You know, these uh, the open, you know, right there, it kind of held its own. You see right there. Um, so, I mean, this is the low. This is today's low so far. So, we're green. Obviously, it's early. We'll see what we get. You know, this could be a bounce level because right here you have a, a um, um, whatchamacallit, a close here, an open here, and then, you know, a wick touch. So, right around here is a great support area. That's why the market probably came through and then held. So, um, if you're short the euro, uh, like I am, you know, across many different things, or have a short bias, I should say, I'm not in the euro with all these pairs, um, then, um, you know, you like this, you're happy. So we'll see if it gets above this trend line. If it gets above this trend line, it's definitely going to test uh, 94s, basically, you could say, and then, you know, maybe even get to 9450s. We'll see what happens, or maybe even 95s. We'll see what's on the table. I mean, it's still below all these moving averages, so, you know, it needs to get some momentum, but, you know, on the weekly, it's just been just nice leg down so we had a leg down a retrace a leg down so we're due for a retrace as well so we'll see what happens um you know but so far i'm still bullish if this low if 9250 gets taken out i may change my story but right now i'm bullish the uh dollar still so the euro as you can see it hasn't made a new high you know if you use the trend lines you can maybe draw one here and get some touches um but the euro hasn't made a new high so at that point, the euro is still um, bearish, in my opinion. You know, this is a bullish, obviously, hammer. Two hammers in a row is a somewhat bullish sign. Um, but, um, and it's obviously above the moving averages, but I still think it's due to uh, retrace back some more. So, um, we'll see what we get on that as well. Um, what are the markets we can come over? Let me go uh, look at some, uh, well, let me look at the Aussie. So the Aussie looks like it's bouncing off support right here. Obviously, that's a hammer. The tail is, you know, it's a decent body. It's more bullish if it's a little bit more smaller body. Um, you know, so that this may bounce, but we'll see, um, you know, what the week brings. Maybe if, if, gold, rally, if gold continues to rally, this will rally up the Aussie. Um, right now, I have no opinion on this. Um, we'll see what happens with the dollar, though. Obviously, they follow the dollar index because it plays a big role in how these things move. Um, and yeah, tons of dollar crosses, as you can see right here. But anyways, this looks bullish, but it still hasn't put a new high in. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, if you bought here and you ever stopped down here, that's a great buy. If you use the daily charts, um, I don't, know, I think most of you guys are different types of traders, or maybe some long-term traders and a few short-term traders as well. Um, you know, but I, the more we shared at the forum, the more we can all learn the type of trader everybody is and you know share ideas that way but anyways you know this is a you know what is it isn't a downtrend it put in a low you know the next previous low was down here so it is a higher low still it's got support right here so you know this may rally up find some resistance and drop back down or of course rally up and then test this high right here uh, but we'll see what happens um, you know this is a commodity currency so it's regulated to uh, to gold um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that pair. Um, the euro we already went over. The pound. The pound, as you can see, it pulled back here, retested, and now it's making another bottom. So technically, this is like a you know, I guess you could call it a classic double bottom, you know. But it's still below this moving average. So you know, we've gone sideways a bunch of small body candles all through here. So um, you know, we made it. We made it low and tested this low. So to, in my opinion, this is still bearish until it gets above this 13070 area. Um, if it if it tests that or gets above that, then we may come up, pull back, 
or just come up and keep going. Uh, usually how the pattern plays out, but we'll see. Um, so right now I don't have a long or a short on this pair um, either. So the pound, I'm just flat. I don't know what's on the news. I'll do some videos later in the week to cover some topics. Again, I don't trade off the news. I like to know what's going on just to know if it'll move the market or not. Um, or if I want to have a, a wide stop or a short stop based on what volatility is going to come into the market. Um, that's how I use the news. The Kiwi is another commodity currency. Um, you know, that's a four hour trend line I have on, um, which I don't want to use those anymore. Um, but I just want to keep this fib on there to see if it's going to hold. So, you know, this opened up doji so far today where it went up, it went down. Obviously, it's early. You know, the day's only, you know, four hours in or so. Um, in New Zealand and you know Asia is about to open uh, or Japan whatever uh, I'm about to three more hours I'll be sleeping so I'll wake up back at 7 a.m. New York time see what's popping in the markets um, but I don't have too many alerts to go through let me see oh actually no I just had some alerts on the Aussie on the Kiwi I mean and the Aussie and the pound yen um, so the Kiwi I still like short um, here I mean, if you have a trend line, you can draw a trend line all the way down through here, which we can just throw that on there, I guess. Um, right through here is where I would have it. You know, so um, you could draw another one here. It's in a down channel. I don't use those channel things. Um, but, you know, if you do, obviously you probably have that drawn on your chart. So, um, so yeah, with this pair, I think I might be short this pair still. Um, but I'm not logged in. I'll check later um, on this pair to see what's going on um, so that's that this pair if oil remains weak which this put in this this sold off put in a higher a higher a lower high I guess you could say but it's also you know a higher low because this was the old low so this may continue to go sideways the dollar cad you know if oil goes if oil is strong this should this should um, sell off you know, but if oil's weak, they should come up and maybe test the 128, 129, maybe even 130 area um, as well. But like I said, some of the dollar crosses are in no man, no man land zone, I guess you could say for me at this point. Um, you know, being short up here was a great short or anywhere above that. You know, so if I was short up there, I would stay short. Um, but right now, I don't have a bias on this um, pair at this time either. Um, let's go look at the... Uh, the yen, the yen looks like it's, you know, a triple bottom, I guess you could say. You know, we have a low, we have a low. This low isn't a lower low than this low, but it tested it, you know, so that's still somewhat bullish, you know, if you draw, you know, a line like, or maybe even like this. So we'll see what we get. Like I said, sometimes I use trend lines, um, sometimes I don't. You know, obviously, if there was a trend line here, it was broke, which basically, if you had this, if you had this drawn here, you know, maybe like that is kind of how it played out. Where it broke that trend line, it retests. That's what usually happens when trend lines break, and then you get continuation. Um, you know, and usually, like I said, the market and the hike in action can help with this. The market usually has, um, like I said, nothing's usual with the markets, but on average, like I've said before, seven up days or seven down days, then you usually get a breather. It could be longer, it could be shorter. Uh, that's just an average and with this you get usually get legs you know so we had a leg down a retrace a leg down a retrace and now uh, are we going to get you know a retrace and another leg down or is this going to be the bottom and we're going to come up here and test 111.20s or you know come back up here and test 114 so it all depends what happens with the dollar you know obviously and as we've already discussed the uh, dollar index looks like it may want to still stay bullish you put in a higher low right here you know, and it, it had a high, this was a high, I guess you could call it. So it made a new high right here and here. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, it's still, it's still obviously early in the week as it just started, but we'll see what it, what, uh, what the week brings for us. What other pairs? So I basically covered a few different majors. Um, oil, I like this short, you know, um, but you know this is definitely a bullish pattern still because we put in a higher high you know we pulled back old resistance right here it didn't even act as support it pulled back and caught bids before that you know so is this going to continue up but you know oil to me is still in like no man lands it, it trying to 
it put in these tails up here and try to fake people out of this box it's been in right through here it's been in this box for what one two three four five six eight or nine days big money's waiting to do something you know then it retest it, it broke out like it was going to sell off you know so then it trapped all those bears and then it's you know now it's rallying you know so it's about to just stop out all the bears who shorted um or maybe this resistance will hold right through here um right where it's at like right through like 49 49s i guess you could say which has been around 49s 49.50s it's been around that you know as you can see all these all these opens and closes are right around you know in these tests uh, all around this line where it's at 49 49s basically you know give or take some change which 20 ticks in oil is can happen in seconds um you know so right now i think i'm gonna come in um i'm so flat oil but I want to see what happens. And we have obviously EIA every Tuesday, or API every Tuesday and EIA every Wednesday. So maybe well, that'll give us more light. I'm assuming we'll get some volatility and a move, obviously, you know, down or up before then. We'll see how many, uh, we'll see if we can test 50 30s or come down here back and test 47s, basically, 47 20 area. And um, so we'll see. The euro looks weak. Let's hope it stays weak to start the, uh, start the week. I was just looking at another chart, that's why I said the euro. Uh, gold, do I have these right? Yeah. Or gold, sorry. Silver looks bearish right here. Silver looks like it's about to put in a hanging man, making lower highs. Big red candle to start, so maybe it'll pull back to here again. Or maybe when I come back down here and test 1625. So we'll see what happens. Usually people get scared. They buy uh, gold and silver. Maybe Bitcoin soon. Bitcoin rallying to the roof um, as well. So gold. Gold pullback, you know, hit one of the target areas I, I monitor, which is 1287s. It's kind of got this resistance up here on the daily. Is that going to uh, to hold triple top somewhat and pull back? You know, if it does pull back, it's got buyers maybe at 1270. If that fails, it got buyers at 1250. Um, some people are perma bull, perma gold bulls. Um, you know, so if you are, if it pulls back here, it's a great at buying opportunity. Me, I'm usually in and out of gold. Right now, I don't have any positions on, but I plan to scalp more gold live in the stream because I scalp gold futures and I scalp euro futures um, and the index futures and oil futures. So a lot of those have CFD equivalents. So I'm going to look to bring those into the uh, um, equation as well so I can do some smaller size, unit size scalping live. Uh, I think people will enjoy that as well or maybe learn something or maybe teach me something by uh, me sharing that. But anyways... Um, so silver, silver looks weak as well. Copper looks like it's topping as well, or not copper, uh, palladium, platinum looks like it's topping as well. So short metals is me maybe want a, a good play. Copper, obviously topped, pulled back. So copper is always a bit different than the other metals. Um, this clearly doesn't look bearish like the other four metals. It looks pretty bullish, but copper is copper. It's used for different things, um, but usually. Um, the Aussie gets benefit when gold rallies in the New Zealand or uh, with any of the metals because they're a uh, you know, commodity country. Just like the dollar Canadian benefits when oil rallies most of the time. Or dollar sec, dollar knock, um, those exotics. Um, let's look at some indexes. So the SPX 500, obviously this sold off, but you know, BTFD may be in play. You know, right here, this is tons of resistance. It broke out and now it's acting as support as you can see to 2436s you know so um, you know my 401k likes this um, I bid buy some of my 401k on this pullback um, you know if you wanted to get long this pair in the uh, the future of CFD world you know uh, buying at market and putting a stop under here you know because if it goes down it's going to definitely go lower so you'll be out maybe even a stop under this candle depending on how aggressive you want to be and if it goes up then it's going to either test this or keep going so it's a great risk right here to reward trade um, on the SPX 500 you know buy around here stop under here target up here or target up higher at new highs if we break out to all-time highs but we'll see what happens with the North Korea BS and what the news does and how all the fear mongering and, and you know if the children get scared and they keep selling um, indexes and keep buying gold or if you know the risk is going to be back on and they're going to say screw it and just keep buying things back up you know so Nasdaq as well very similar to the ES the Dow very similar as well and the Russell's very similar as well but the Russell is a bit more weaker because it's been getting sold 
um, and the Dow is one of the stronger, uh, one of the stronger U.S. indexes. You know, this got sold hard. Um, I'm just gonna draw this fib right here. This has some alerts right here. All right, um, the FTSE. Again, they all sold hard on that North Korean news. They're all basically at support right now. Um, the FTSE as well, you know. But watch out if you trade all these because they're super correlated. So you know, if you're gonna go long one, maybe short one, so you can hedge out some risk, or just pick one and go long it. You know, the world's strongest, and if you pick one and go short, the weakest is a good thing to do. Like this one's been the weakest, or not this one, but the uh, the Russell's been the weakest. So this be the one to short, um, and the Dow has pretty much been the strongest. So that'd be the one to buy. In that situation, um, the DAX has been very weak as well. It's just been dropping, making lower highs all the way down. Um, you know, so this is going to catch bids right through here. There's a lot of support, <coughs> excuse me, through here in the 11, 11, 9, 16, 11, 9, 20 area on the uh, DAX. Uh, I look to do some, I look, I'm planning to do some DAX scalping as well. Um, so I'll try to go live with that or record some videos of scalping the uh, DAX as well. The yen, again, the theme was they all sold off and they all caught bids. They're very correlated. Um, you know, this broke a trend line. Now it's acting as support. So this is a strong buy signal, in my opinion, um, especially if it gets above this moving average because you got a downtrend line that was broke and it's acting as support. Plus you have a, a Fibonacci level acting as support as well. So buying here, hiding your stop here, or somewhere down here, or even down here, depending on how much unit size you want to risk, is a great um, trade idea. The Aussie 200 hasn't done jack for days. It just goes sideways. Um, you know, I may look to play this, you know, in the one CFD account on a breakout or a breakdown, depending on what it wants to do. We'll see what it does and see what it brings on the table this week. And then I'll just cover these two pairs. You know, so the France index looks weak um, as well, which this is not as a popular index, not as liquid. And then the euro stocks, very similar to the France. They're very similar indexes. As you can see, the price action is almost identical. Uh, on those two the VIX as you can see broke out we'll see what we open this week if the fears here they should stay above 15 or um, you know if people are not scared anymore you'll see it retrace back down to this 11 or 12 dollar area maybe or maybe even back down to nines which I don't see because this is pretty low you know the VIX this low it very rarely happens um, so yeah those are a few different markets I'm gonna try to like I said keep streaming more uh, but please give me questions, give me ideas uh, to stream about education, markets, technical analysis, uh, fundamentals. I don't really do dig dig into too much, um, you know. But if anyone is a great fundamental trader and wants to share their ideas in the forum, uh, please do. CPTrading.co is where you can go, and we have a Telegram chat room that's a bit more active uh, during uh, regular trading hours. Um, but the forum is slowly building, so please uh, keep frequenting it, and please keep asking your questions. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. So I'll see you guys in the uh, forum and in the Telegram chat. Happy trading. Good luck this week. Thanks for watching. Bye.